this verse. You go get this verse. You go get this verse. You go get this verse. The law is the light. You go get this verse. 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 He said he just saved his people from their sin. Now this is new breed of black men out here. We rule over our household. Is that kind of the part of the reason? Is the life on the drive of Ephraim? 
I will make the remembrance of them to see from the men. Listen up, bro. This is not bad teaching, bro. Come on over here, bro. Come on, take the man So you can get in the wisdom, bro. God said get in the wisdom, bro. How you doing, bro? What's your name? Edward. Oh, wait, so you know what you got to do here, though. Give me back to your head for Verse 8, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, but there is no man that sin it not. We sin against him, and ain't no man that is sin. It ain't no Israelite without sin, read. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. But now we deliver to the enemies? So that they carry them away captive into the land of the enemy. Far or near. But we're not gathering the captains in the land of the enemy. Far or near. But now we're gathering the captains, bro. What does this Bible describe in your condition that told you to with them? The Bible said they're going to be scattered through the four corners of the earth. That describes your people. It said that remembrance was going to see from among me. Our people don't know who they are. You ask any brother, if I call any black man on the ask them, what family on the earth they belong to or who they belong to, they ain't going to be able to tell me. Yet, they shall be beat themselves. But guess what? We got to be beat ourselves in the air down there too. The thing is to remember who you are. You got to remember who you are in the land of your captivity. And repeat. And repeat. In order for you to repeat, you got to learn what sin is. Now once you learn what sin is, you got to learn what, what uh, law. Once you learn that sin is transgression of the law, you got to learn what law that you have broken to repeat. Because what they teach in church, the law got away with it, right? But Christ didn't do away with the law. We went into slavery with breaking the law. We made a covenant with the law. If you make a grievance, somebody make a grievance with you, and they don't tell their agreement, and you tell them they're going to be punished, like you tell them, brother, look, brother, hey, I, uh, I'm going to give you this thousand dollars. If you don't pay my thousand dollars, then this, this, this is going to happen to you. If you don't require them, they're going to pay for your money. Because they sign a contract and they make a grievance with you. They make a reason with you, you don't want them to pay up. God wants us to pay up. No, no, I gotta move two and one real quick. I wanna show you something, bro. We broke the car. Most I said you need to defeat yourself in the land of your captivity and repent. Remember who you is. Like, man, our people don't know who they is now, man. They think they're African American. Africa is a company, continent, and America is a country. Africa was named after he was sick Africanist, he called it all. He called the Alfred, he called the General Hannibal, Hannibal in the third period war. I mean the second period war. And America is named after American Vespucci. Uh, he was he discovered America before Columbus did. But after he discovered that, got the Native American Indians was already here. Right. How the hell are you gonna discover somewhere where somebody was standing there? Read, brother. For we, chapter 2, verse 1. Now for the Lord have made good his word. The most have made good on his word, bro. He said he's going to scatter us to the four corners of the earth. He made good on that. Just like if somebody make a grievance with you, and you tell him, well, you know what, I'm going to take care of this hell now. Do I hear that? He said he's going to do this. He's going to do it. God made a grievance with us. He said, look, if you break my command, your son and daughter is going to be given to another people. You're going to be scattered to the four corners of the earth. Oh, God, those things. You're going to have to serve your enemy for food, water, and clothes. And your enemies are going to put a help and train on you. But the most I do do good, do good, do good, do good. Now for the Lord have made good this word. The most I made good on this word. You say about you piece of wake the hell up and repeat. Repeat yourself. And repeat. How we going to repeat? First down through the boat. 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 Transgressing also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. Now you say when you break the Ten Commandments, what do you do? Go ahead and go with it. Go ahead and go with it. Go ahead and go with it. Yeah, because the Ten Commandments is what? It's just clear, right? I'm going to show you a commandment right now. Oh, what did I say? 
shall be come and astonished by the name of the great one. One. We began the great one to be the great one. They wonder why the black man won't take care of the black one. They wonder why the black man won't take care of the black one. They wonder why the black man beat on each other. They wonder why the black woman will avoid their baby. They wonder why the black woman will walk up and down the street just like this. They wonder why. Look at our people, man. Just look at our people. Look what they do. You know what a lot of these people are doing? They're going to church the box. They're going to church the box. They're going to church the box. They're going to church the box.
The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So that's what the nations that were, that we were ruling over, they, were, they, they, they got above us very high. They ruling over us now. All nations are high there, right? They got their own land. They got their own homes. They got their own finances. They got their own education system. Where your school is? Where our school is? We don't got no school. We don't got no school. Where your grocery store is? We don't got no grocery store. We don't got no grocery store. Where your money is? It's based on the money. We don't got no money. But all the other nations, they got their own currency. We don't even have it. The strangers that we was ruling over got above us very high. We came down very high. Verse 44. Mm -hmm. Verse 44. He shall lead to thee, and thou shalt not lead to him. So guess what? He leads to us. Do we lend to them? Who you got to do for a school loan? For a bank loan? For a house loan? Any type of loan you want. They lend to you, but you don't lend to them? Read. He should be the head and thou should be the tail. He in front of you, you behind him. He had a 300 year head style on you. That's what he tell you. You good for that. For two 300 years, he got a head style on you. He worked the hell out of you. for free. You didn't get paid for it, and you won't get paid for it. You will never get your meal. You want me to tell you why? Don't worry. 33. Verse 33. I think it's 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Read on. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Read. So that thou shalt be bad for the sight of thy eyes when thou shalt see. Okay, go up to 31, bro. This is why you ain't gonna never get your 40 acres in your bill, and why you ain't gonna never get paid for it. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away. It was violently taken away from you. You had your own kingdom at one time. It was violently taken away from you. So before thy grave, it shall not be restored. It ain't gonna be restored to you. You ain't getting your bill back. They slain your oxygen in your cattle before your eyes. They slain the Native American Indian oxygen in your cattle before their eyes. They took your muse away, and it ain't gonna be restored to you, bro. We ain't, we ain't getting no reparations. You know what we gonna get, though? They going into slavery. They going into slavery. The most eyes are good, y'all. I'm gonna read these last two scriptures. We're gonna wrap it up. Go to Revelation 13 and 9. Go to Revelation 13 and 9. And let me prove that real quick. And have, and have you believed in the blessing of God? Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Read. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Read. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Where they going? Y'all believe this Bible? It said, if any man ain't out of here, hear, let him hear. You got to understand it. Christ said, understand this. If a man leads you into captivity, they going into captivity. He that killed with a sword should be killed with a sword. If they kill you with the sword, they must be killed with the sword. Read. Here's the patience. Hold on, this is the word. Here's the word. Here is the patience. Read. And the faith. And the what? And the faith. And the what? And the faith. Read. Of the saints. Because we the saints. Everybody can't be no saints. Oh, according to uh, Psalm 149, 49, verse 14. The only I mean 148, verse 14. The only saints on the planet earth is the true of Israel. That's right. That's it. Everybody can't be. This is the faith. You know the Bible says only one faith. One man, one spirit, one body, one God. This the one faith. He that leads into captivity gonna go into captivity. Let's wrap it up. What time is it, y'all? 206. 206? 206. Two. Oh, no, 106. I was gonna say the hell no. Now, when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head. And he sat at me. So look, this woman had this alabaster box and she came to Christ. This was a righteous black woman. We had righteous black woman today. And our women still can be righteous, but guess what? They got to be fixed with the square. Man, look, I just like how y'all did tonight. Y'all separated y'all self from these people. That's what the most I call them to to be holy. Holy means to be separate. You got to bethink yourself. Remember who you are in the land of your captivity. And repent. Come back to these laws that to the command. It's more than to the command is the key. If you want salvation at the end of the day, you got to keep the law. Christ, the only law Christ done away with is the law of sacrifice. So when you look at this Bible and see that the law was done away with, you know it's the law of sacrifice. But when his disciples saw it, 
that had indignation saying, to what purpose is this race? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. So the Christ said the disciples had great indignation, being righteous and God they said, look, this one can be sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? Why say, why you messing with this woman? You this woman alone, really? For she had wrote a good work upon me. These women in the Bible wrote the good work. They were like, I'll be there. Our people say they love God. They say they love Christ. They say they love Christian. These women in the Bible, they work good work. If they want to go work out here tonight, hell yeah, they working a good work. For the next dollar, for the next price, they work. <laughs> for ye have the poor always with you. But me, you have not always. For in that she poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Now she poured this ointment on Christ's body for his burial. Listen to this. If y'all go to church, I don't know if y'all go to church or not, but check this out. This is a commandment right here. This is the new thing, Mr. D. Verily I say unto you. What is that? Verily I say unto you, read. Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached. Wherever this gospel shall be, if they talking about Christ. Wherever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, we in the whole world, we, there should always this that this woman have done be told for a memorial. Guess what? Every time we go out here and preach this gospel, guess what we gotta read about? That woman for a memorial. Oh, that was a righteous woman. I'll be back. A lot of men ain't for the women that in the back. Every time we come out here and read the word of God, we gotta read about this woman for a memorial. Huh? Now this was a righteous black woman right here. Um, brothers and Shalom sisters. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. As many of you are finding out, Christianity has destroyed our people. For the past 400 years, we have been indoctrinated in lies. Those lies of Christianity have not benefited our people in the least bit. Many of you know this. So, like Christ said in John chapter 3, verse 3, he said, Except ye be born again, you shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven which shall be established on earth, you must be born again. What does that mean? Many of you always quote that, but you don't understand what that means. When you go to 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, verse 34, Ezra said, Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding, meaning subdue all that you have learned here in Babylon the Great, it says, and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. What does that mean? Meaning you must be taught all over again, taught your nationality, taught why it is that we as a people went into slavery here in America. Who are we? What is the mystery of why this country, these nations have changed our nationality? We here at Israel United in Christ, we have classes seven days a week, three times a day, all for what? For your learning, for your edification. You will learn things never taught to you before. You will learn history, you will learn prophecy, and more importantly, you will learn the dynamics of what you need today to survive as a people. One third of Israel is prophesied to repent of their sins and come into this truth. So now we need you, brothers and sisters. Come, join us here at IsraelUnite.org. Go to our online classes and register. This is for you. This is for the redemption of the 12 tribes of Israel, brothers and sisters. I hope you understand that. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And brothers and sisters, we are not keeping silence. So come join us. Help, help us build this truth. Donate to us so that we can keep this truth on and on. Push it forward. Help us get this gospel out. Because Christ said, when this gospel is taught throughout the earth, then shall the end come. So with that, brothers and sisters, we say, Shalom.